Hi, welcome to another Real Time Faith lesson discussion for early teens class. It's a blessing and an honor to be with you as we fellowship and learn together from God's Word. Now this week's lesson, our topic is withholding judgment. Withholding judgment. What does it mean to withhold judgment? Should we freely give judgment? Is it God's will and desire for us as Christians to judge those around us? Does God want us to judge those around us? You hear many people saying that Christians shouldn't judge. They should learn to love. But is that what Scripture teaches? Now before we go into this lesson, I'll ask you to close your eyes, bow your heads and we'll pray together. Our gracious Father, our loving God and King, Lord, may you open our eyes as we learn from your word. And Lord, please give us the grace and understanding that we may understand and we may apply your word in our lives. Father, we ask you this prayer in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen. Now, as I said, our lesson this week is withholding judgment. Withholding judgment. Many a times Christians have been accused of judging others when they shouldn't really be judging at all. They should learn to love. So, to help us clear all of this out, should Christians judge or not? Should they just withhold judgment? Let's look at Scripture. Open your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 7 and we'll read from verses 1 onwards. We'll read from verse 1 all the way to verse 5. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Now Jesus is telling us, judge not that ye be not judged in verse 1. But that doesn't mean that we are not supposed to judge. Jesus says, if you want to judge, then you have to do something first. Now if you look at the, at the example Jesus gives, he's saying that before you try to remove the speck of dust, in your brother's eye, this tiny thing from your brother's eye, first remove the beam of wood in your own eye, this huge piece of wood that is obstructing your vision. First remove that before you can help your brother. You see, the purpose of judgment is to give sight to the brother, is to help the brother to see if they have done wrong, so they can see where they are wrong and they can do what is right. The purpose of judgment is to help the brother or sister. That's the purpose of judgment. It's to help. It's not to destroy someone, to spoil them. The purpose of judgment is to help someone. And that must be clear in the mindsets of everyone. It's not to destroy, to damage someone, to bring them down. It's to help them so that they might see where they are wrong and they might stand upright. My brothers and sisters, before we can help someone to see. And here is the point. Before we can help someone to see, to remove the thing that is blinding them, to help them to receive their sight, before we can do that, we must first ourselves be able to see. We must first have our own blindness removed. We must search our hearts, clean it of every single thing that is obstructing our spiritual vision so that we might see clearly first before we help our brothers. Jesus says, can a blind man lead another blind man? It's not possible. They will lead each other into a ditch, and then they will both be destroyed. My brothers and sisters, in order to be a blessing to someone else, we first must experience the blessing ourselves. In order for us to give sight to our brother or sister there, we must first receive sight 
ourselves. Jesus wants us to judge, but he says, judge not that ye be not judged, meaning that you need to first work on yourself. The greatest work of any Christian is first to reform their imagination, their thinking, to see what is right inside. And this is why the, the people of the Bible, David, many have said, search my heart, Lord, and see if there is any wrong way in me and help me to fix it. God wants us to judge others, but God at the same time wants us first to receive our spiritual sight. Judgment is for the purpose of blessing. Judgment is for the purpose of healing. Judgment is for the purpose of saving. God wants us to judge. It also said, Paul also says that we are going to judge the angels. So we should be able to judge the small matters of this earth. The angels who sided with Lucifer and fell, we will judge them. At the end of time, we will judge them. And by the way we live now, how we stay lo loyal to Christ in spite of our problems, we will judge them. My brothers and sisters, judgment is essential for the life of a Christian. But what must come first? a soul-searching, a cleansing of all wrong in our lives, a earnest walking with the, God, with the Lord that we love, being led by His Holy Spirit. And once we are in that perfect relationship, then we can meet our judgment to others. And our judgment will be for the saving of their souls. It will be done out of a motive of love and not out of a motive of jealousy, competition, this is why Christians everywhere receive a bad name, because many of us have not first improved our lives. Many of us have not first drank from the living waters that give life, that transform the soul. Many of us have not first received our sight, that we might see and help and be a blessing to those around us. Jesus wants us to judge. Don't withhold judgment, but make sure first that you are worthy to judge. May God bless you as you contemplate this lesson and I pray that you may continue to study the scriptures and grow in the truth. I invite you to close your eyes, bow your heads and we'll pray together. Our gracious Father, our loving God and King, please help us, Lord, to receive our sight. Please help us to see clearly. Please help us to buy from you eye salve that we may receive our sight. Please help us to buy from you gold tried in fire that we may be rich and please help us to buy from, from you white raiment that we may be clothed, and the shame of our nakedness does not appear. Please bless us, Father. Please be with us. We thank you and praise you for everything. And we ask you, Lord, this prayer in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen.